Today we're going to be talking about why BB guns aren't quite as powerful as pellet guns. Hey, it's Target Shooter 145, and today I decided to uh, take a break from shooting and actually discuss about something is uh, why BB guns aren't as powerful as pellet guns. Uh, this one's a pellet gun, this one's a BB gun, and this one shoots uh, BBs and pellets, and that kind of stops you. This one can shoot both, but just listen to the rest of the video. Uh, this is a safety issue. Not a lot of people get this. This is a safety issue uh, about this. This, since this is the BB gun, this is a Daisy lever lock BB gun. Got BBs in it right now, just to bear in mind. And I might shoot a little bit today, but uh, since it's a lever lock to give you know little kids some fun, feel like they're shooting an old western rifle or something. This one's ten and up. About the age of some. Uh, boy's gonna be firing this thing at. Uh, and this one has 300 feet per second on it. That's kind of a uh, low on there. I'm gonna shoot at this tree to give you an idea of how weak it is. Hopefully you could hear the smack. And this is the Crossman 760. And this one varies because it's a multi-pump air rifle. If you pump it once, it's a whole lot less than 10 pumps, but if you put it up to 10 pumps, 10 pumps, it will get up to 700 FPS. That's feet per second. Let me show you the difference in this compared to that. I'm going to be shooting some pellets out of it, not big bees. Again, the tree. Let's charge it here. See, it's a, you can tell a little bit of power difference. And this one is a complete smack in the face compared to these two, especially this one. This is the Crossman Fury 2 Blackout. I've had this in one of my recent videos. This one only shoots pellets, it's a brick barrel. And you'll see in a second why this one's a smack in the face compared to those two. And I'm going to be shooting it very loose so you can get an idea of uh, the kick on it. We should be shooting it left handed because I'm an ambidextrous shooter. Again into the tree. Safety's off. Too fast to even hear it smack. And uh, that one sounded quite a bit powerful compared to those two, right? Because this one has 1000 FPS and excuse me for smacking it down, kind of dropped it. But this one has 1,000 FPS. When this one has 700, this one has 350. See? Smack in the face entirely. And that's firing lead pellets. They're heavy. Lead heavy. It's a, I believe these are somewhere around 10 grains. These are hollow points. Uh, the round nose are 10.5 grains, if I remember correct, correctly. But lead is a bit heavy because the pellet's only about that big. And uh, if you put alloy pellets in this, which are lighter, you can get all the way up to 1,200 feet per second. That's pretty high for a pellet gun. Uh, 0.177 caliber pellet gun. That's pretty high because that's in like the 22 range of actual firearm. But the discussion is why this one can't be as powerful as this one. I know some people have got to be one during this, so I thought I'd make the video and explain it is because these are fire lead so lead's not the toughest thing in the world uh, BBs on the other hand are made of steel steel if you know it don't know what steel is I don't know how young you'll be watching this uh, train tracks is a good example the rails on the train tracks are steel that's a very hard object, and this one, they made it into projectile to shoot. It's not a plastic BB like airsoft fires. That's, that's literal BB. So, quite a bit of power on this one, but not this one. 
So, if you put something that hard of a projectile in this one, I'm pretty sure someone's done this, uh, where you have to cock it. I don't want to cock it right now. Uh, and put the BB in there, and it will roll right out if you just do this with it. But if you kind of keep it at an angle at least, so it won't roll it out from gravity, um, it will do pretty freaking uh, damage. It will penetrate further. I mean, pellets are made for penetrating, but uh, BB is just so small, it's such a small diameter, it will penetrate most likely further, at least sometimes it will. You know what? No, I don't think so. But these have a, a skirt on the back of them. Pellets, they, they have a skirt on the back of them, so they'll travel faster. So, <laughs> but this one has so much power in it, if you're shooting it, say, steel, a steel plate, that actually provide Crossman provides with uh, I know at least one of their pellet guns. If it bounces back at you, you're going to the ER. Now I can't say the same for pellets because uh, I've had uh, pellets bounce back at me a few times, but they never hit me. They go off skewering to the right. But this guy, <laughs> uh, when I'm shooting like a two liter or something, get like as close as I am to the can and shoot it, I've felt them hit, come back and hit me in the gut plenty of times. But it doesn't hurt because it's a very weak BB gun. So it's a, like I said, safety issue. So that explains all of the reasons why BB guns aren't as powerful as pellet guns. Uh, I believe some BB guns can get up to 400 FPS, which is even higher than this thing. And that's a pistol, BB pistol. But this one's suited for someone small. You can tell by the stock. It's Kind of small on me. Uh, this one's even gotten a little too small for me so far. It's gotten just a little bit because I've grown. This actually does feel more like my size. And that is freaking hot. That black plastic on there. It's real hot out today. That's why I'm wearing a loose fitting shirt. But, uh, excuse me for my rambling here but so far, but that explains it. It's a whole safety issue thing. And. That's exactly why BB guns can't really be as powerful as pellet guns. Uh, you can't fire the pellets out of this because you have to blow them in up here at the top and they roll down they connect to a magnet. It sounds like it when you cock it. And I idiotically left that hatch open, which I usually never tend to do. But uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to share it, like it. Please share it because uh, I know there's got to be uh, your friends. They might not know. Uh, I believe even some adults don't know, which is a little bit of a bear thing, in my opinion. So, thanks for watching. And uh, sorry if I uh, <laughs> insulted you there at the end. But thanks for watching. Please like and share this to give people an idea why. And see you in my next video. Now I know this video had to be a little bit long, but I thought I'd show you this at the end of it. Uh, how much of a smackdown this thing will do on a water jug compared to the uh, Leverlock BB gun. You'll see why this one can be very powerful. Thanks for watching again.